Good afternoon, Dr. Berger. Good afternoon, Irina. Would you be kind enough to introduce the practice and yourself? Of course, I'm Dr. William Berger. Our practice is Northeast Medical Practice. We are a concierge-style internal medicine, weight management, anesthetics practice located in Great Neck, New York on Long Island. Beautiful. I want to ask you, are pregnant women allowed to take weight management uh, medication, GLP-1s, so, uh, you know, during pregnancy and also while they're breastfeeding? So there are a couple of reasons why women who are pregnant should not take any kind of weight management medication or anti-obesity medicines as we call them in the business. Uh, number one, we want uh, the fetus to have proper growth during pregnancy, so we don't want to interfere with that with medication. Uh, but also, these medicines, like almost all medicines, frankly, were not tested in pregnant or breastfeeding women during their clinical trials. Those particular groups were, are often not uh, included in the pool of clinical trial participants. So because of that, uh, we don't have data as to their safety during pregnancy. Uh, so definitely to be avoided during pregnancy. And during breastfeeding, um, it's a, it should be avoided just because we don't know, but just um, to put it out there, um, these molecules are long, big peptides, and they're pretty unlikely to be secreted into the breast milk. And because they're peptides, they're basically proteins and they're likely to be mostly digested in the stomach of the infant as well. However, because they weren't tested in breastfeeding uh, women, I, I would advise uh, against it as well. Now, there are a few other wrinkles to this. Um, so in patients who are planning to get pregnant, the National Library of Medicine put out a paper last year and the Obesity Medicine Association is pretty much in agreement with it that uh, anti-obesity medicine should be stopped two months prior to trying to conceive. A few other things. So in any medicines like these GLP-1 type medicines, so this includes uh, Rebelsis, so Zempic, Wagovi, Mounjaro, Zepbound, um, they slow down how quickly the stomach empties. So uh, with decreased gastric emptying, you can get a decreased absorption of oral contraceptive medicines. So if people are on OCPs, um, they may not work as well. Uh, so it is advised to um, switch to a non-oral form of contraception, uh, in other words, barrier protection like a condom, uh, to avoid unwanted pregnancy. On the flip side, uh, patients with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, who due to hormonal imbalance and weight gain often have uh, decreased fertility and trouble getting pregnant, um, these medicines can be very helpful and we've uh, had success uh, with patients of ours with PCOS uh, becoming pregnant, uh, desired pregnancy uh, through weight loss and treatment of their PCOS. Um, so all, all things to bear in mind, um, because these medicines have not been studied in pregnant or breastfeeding women, they should be avoided in, under those circumstances. They can decrease the effectiveness of uh, oral contraceptive medications and also uh, they can improve fertility in people with obesity and or PCOS. So uh, a number of wrinkles to the story. So of course, everything that I talk about in these videos is for educational purposes only. No doctor-patient relationship has been formed. And if you have questions, concerns about your health, you shouldn't hesitate to reach out to your medical professionals. And if you'd like to speak to us, you can reach us at our office, 516-604-3418 or northeastmedicalpractice.com on the web. So until we see you next time, be in good health.